Let's look at Tezzeret, Betrayer of the Flesh, and Oathbreaker, and what kind of a deck we might be able to make. What kind of signature spells would be best for this deck? Tezzeret costs 4 and starts at 4 loyalty. The first activated ability of an artifact you activate each turn costs 2 less to activate. Plus 1, draw 2 cards, then discard 2 cards unless you discard an artifact card. Minus 2, target artifact becomes an artifact creature. If it isn't a vehicle, it has base power and toughness 4-4. Four, four. Minus six, you get an emblem with, whenever an artifact you control becomes tapped, draw a card. So what could we do here? We could make an equip focus deck, equipping something for basically free every turn with that cost reduction. Or we could do vehicles and use that minus two to turn them into creatures. And it's worth noting that that's not just until the end of turn, like those effects often are. Let's start there, because if we're basing our deck around that, then we want some redundancy cards. Majestic Metamorphosis is a 3-mana instant. Until end of turn, target artifact or creature becomes a 4-4 angel artifact creature and gains flying. Draw a card. Or, and I really like this one, Rise and Shine, a 2-mana sorcery. Target non-creature artifact you control becomes a 0-0 artifact creature. Put 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters on each artifact that became a creature this way. And it has overload for 6, so you can make all your non-creature artifacts 0-0s zero, with 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. This seems strong and fun and flavorful, really cool. If we instead wanted to search out a specific artifact in our deck, either a combo piece or just something that works really well with Tezzeret, we have a couple really good options for that. Reshape costs X blue blue as an additional cost to cast, sacrifice an artifact, Search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less, and put it onto the battlefield. Were of Invention costs X blue 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 and has Improvise. Search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less, and put it on the battlefield. Anchor to Reality costs 4 as an additional cost to cast the spell, sack an artifact or creature. Search your library for an equipment or vehicle card, put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle. If it has a mana value less than the sacrificed permanence mana value, scry 2. And last, we got a real old one, Transmute Artifact. The oracle text says, Sacrifice an artifact. If you do, search your library for an artifact card. If that card's mana value is less than or equal to the sacrificed artifact's mana value, put it onto the battlefield. If it's greater, you may pay X, where X is the difference. If you do, put it onto the battlefield. If you don't, put it in its owner's graveyard. All four of these do something similar in slightly different ways. I don't know which one is better. If you have an opinion on that, let me know in the comments. I suppose you could just go with Fabricate, three mana sorcery that searches up an artifact and puts it in your hand. Moving on from that strategy, we've got Blink Moth Infusion, a whopping 14 mana instant with affinity for artifacts to reduce the cost. Untap all artifacts. What are you going to do with this? I don't know. I think you could probably do some crazy broken things, but that is a huge cost, man. There's also some good options for just card draw as a signature spell. Some of those options even have Tezzeret on it, so watch out for that, because that's flavorful. Tezzeret's Gambit costs 4 mana, or 3 mana and 2 life. Draw 2 cards, then proliferate. When we're talking Oathbreaker, proliferate is always good. Proliferate up the counters on your Planeswalker. Thoughtcast costs 5 and has affinity for artifacts. Draw 2 cards. If you can get this down to 1 mana, it is really solid. You can also reduce the cost of the commander tax of casting the second time with affinity for artifacts. One with the machine costs 4. Draw cards equal to the highest converted mana cost among artifacts you control. This could draw you a whole ton of cards, especially if your deck is built for it. It could also be completely useless if things are not going your way. I would probably not pick this one, but the power level is really high when it works. Last, I want to mention Echo Storm. 5 mana. When you cast this spell, copy it for each time you've cast your commander from the command zone this game. You may choose new targets for the copies. Create a token that's a copy of target artifact. So, as a signature spell, the baseline here is 2. You're always getting at least 2 tokens. I really like finding signature spells that are extra good when you use them as a signature spell, and this is one of those. This video was a request from a viewer. If there's a Planeswalker you want to see an Oathbreaker video made for, let me know in the comments and I would be happy to do it. I love brainstorming these things. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you next time.